Hello ladies, there was a request if I can make a video of how I did my three-fold and double-fold envelope, so um, there are already many videos, I will make my own. Um, I s went through my collection, a huge collection of envelopes, and I found these that are the same size, so if uh, you are also a hoarder and have so many envelopes I'm sure you can find the same sizes so I found uh, uh, I don't I don't buy normally envelopes unless it's really necessary but for crafting scrapbooking whatever I try to recycle so these are the ones from uh, my storage I had them sorted out already uh, the the way that they have the similar um, closing or the look in the back so that's also what you can keep an eye on uh, these are not exactly the same they are close similar I mean um, I have this one it's not exactly the same size it's a little bit smaller but who is stopping me right so I can have even a smaller envelope here they have the same closure system here the cuts I mean, you can always try to cut it in this in the way you wanted it to be. You want to have it, or just keep it even, even two different uh, or three different ways. I mean, it's up to you personally. I don't mind even if each one of them would be closing in a different way. So, all right. So these are the three that are closed with a closing system. These are three. And I was going to work on this one, these two only. So the main thing, you just connect them first to glue how you want it to be. So that's pretty easy and straightforward. It actually also hit the address that I had here so it's up to you now if um, yeah if you have any addresses or something on the envelopes if um, depending what you're going to put on if you're covering it with a paper you don't need to cover it but if you're going to do decoupage as I'm going to do it may be still visible so you can cover it with Chess or white paints, something, whatever uh, works for you. And uh, now also it would be probably the good time if you want to do some stamping, then uh, this would be like a good time to do some stamping. Uh, if you want to do stamping on later on the already decoupaged um, final version yes you can stamp it will be stronger but if you want to have it of course as a as a background now would be the time i think to also do some stamping so i don't know yet if i'm what i'm going to use uh, i'm going to decide so i will see what i'm going to use and i'm going to let this just dry for a bit. I don't mind those lines, they can stay there. So um I picked few um I picked few napkins and these were the napkins that I bought in the United States and I was really excited how they look like and very disappointed when I actually opened the napkin just to find out that uh, the the picture is actually only this small that it doesn't doesn't continue you know like normal napkins do that you have repetition of the same thing so i was rather disappointed that i have only this thing because i was hoping the lettering would continue and it would cover my uh, complete envelope but i'm stuck with a white piece so i could try to glue some stripes here but i'm not going to really 
back with that so i picked another one that i liked very similar and the same disappointment came again because look at that so i feel like i've been cheated on that i was hoping to have a nice you know full uh, size napkin with a nice print on it and then i get only this thing so that's also kind of a no-go for me. I could use maybe like here in the middle and white here and ink it or something, but no. So I have picked uh, this one that I was deciding either to use um, this and make it kind of like an autumn envelope or to use uh, this one. So... That's actually from United States, and uh, uh, I actually went through of the through all of them after discovering of of these. So I went through all of them to to be sure that uh, they are not all like that. So luckily, this one was not. And I'm actually liking this because I have already the stamp here. So I was thinking to kind of cut it to fit it, actually make it like to the size of the envelope that I want there. Um, also, you need to think when you are uh, using a napkin that is not uh, like this one, you know, here it is whatever pattern, I mean, you can use it however you want, right? So, um, here we go, so either like that, right? So, what whatever you feel like, you don't have really like correct way up and down, it's up to your style and choice. This one does go up and down, so you need to think how you are placing it and where you are placing it. So I am thinking to actually use like this part, so uh, this stem would come somewhere here. Um, Now you have to think what is up and what is down. So definitely this is up, yes. Sorry, this, I mean, the picture. So this is up and this is down. And this one, this bottom one, do you want to have it when you open it in the same direction? But then when you fold it, think about that, right? When you fold it, the picture would come here upside down. So, do you want to have the picture there upside down or do you want to have it here also in a correct way? So, think, think about that. Uh, when I am um, gluing, I do not keep it open so I don't glue here. So, I just close it completely and I am just going to do the decoupage part. So oh, this is dried. As you can see, I successfully ripped this part. Actually, the one that I was trying to take care of, that it will uh, remain um, for the fact that there is already a nice stamp on the napkin itself. But there you go. I had to, I had to destroy it. Um, when you are cutting the edges. Be careful that you don't cut through the paper so you don't make yourself there a opening or a hole that you don't want to have there. So here is side number one. So here we go. Uh, this other one is uh, glued down. This way it looks like this. This is the back and this is going to be the front or this is the back and this is the front so this is how it looks like at this point so I am going to show you how I am doing this part so I have here um, it's a piece of 
acetate or like it was a packaging or something and before I uh, start decoupaging to avoid that I glue something to the back of this envelope I just tuck it in here there we go and it will be protecting the back so here we go well I decided to use this leftover that I have from this and I am going to glue this one down here envelope is done and it's dried as you can see so this is how it looks like. I was still redoing the edges because at some uh, places the um, when it dried out the napkin still uh, peeled off or unglued off the edges and I had uh, not really nice edges coming out. So I was still uh, refixing all the edges, regluing again, letting it dry. Um, so um now the next or final step is uh, pretty much uh, decorating um the the envelope what you want to do next so on the other ones that i did um i did not distress uh the edges i left it as it is um but i can do it on this one just So um, I am going to work on this now. So I have decided I brought already prepared this um, lace that I am going to just glue down here on the edges. On one of the envelopes that I had I also used this kind of lace thing and I just glued it on top of this image. But um, the other image that I had on which one I used it was... Um, more stronger and more had more contra contrast so it came out through this lace much better here i'm actually covering all the nice pictures and details that i have here so i don't want to completely cover it and lose it so i'm not going to use uh this one for this project so let's go back to this and just uh glue the lace down with the lace glue it in so um for to hold um or to tie um the thread or whatever i will use for uh, holding it together i use um, i put here on the top uh, a bread these ones are that i bought at the local store that we have available this is a german brand reher um and these are uh, from netherlands uh, brand so i will just uh, pick what could fit so yeah so this one so the thing is that um, i'm kind of worried that eventually the hole that will be here holding this bread it will get worn out so what i usually do that i just uh, punch out a little um little piece a little hole a little, hole a little circle and i just glue it here to the other side there we go so um it will make it a little bit stronger now i will just um punch there a hole there we go and I can put my bread in there and I personally do not really like this showing or coming out so either as on the other ones I put a bigger circle that I punch a bigger white circle and I just glue it here or you can cover it with something else um, I have these kind of um, stickers 
um, that I'm using. So here we go. I have different kind of stickers that I could use to cover it. I'll not put the um, the string on it yet because it's all still wet. The glue needs to dry, so uh, I will just uh, leave it to dry. And in the meantime, I will check this front if I want to just leave it as it is or if I want to do something on it. Well, I definitely want to do because here I wanted to have a nice stamp and instead I ruined it and I tried to refix it with another layer and it doesn't look pretty at all. And I ripped the paper, uh, the, the napkin while decoupaging and trying to save the day. I made it worse. So... Um, I was thinking that I will just cover it with something. I am not sure yet. I have here either these, one of these to put in there. So here we go. We have the butterfly. So I'm thinking to maybe use that butterfly and it will pretty much cover all that uh, unsuccessful attempt there. So. And that would be maybe the final. So here we go. We have a butterfly. We have the back. So I uh, tend to make um, on the on the ribbon. With the glue, I make this kind of like a pointy... Um, I use the glue and I then I squeeze the top so it gets kind of hard. And you can do it either with the glue or if you have a, a candle wax, I guess, uh, soft, then you can do it. And then I just uh, kind of thread it through if the hole in the beads is big enough. And I like to have... Um, the beads at the ends of uh, in a different uh, not completely the same so i know or i remember like this one is the one that is fixed to this and this will be the end that i can keep unwrapping and wrapping so the envelope is done of course think also about a point where you fill it this will get tighter i don't normally just i don't i don't go around i just normally kind of like tuck them in because it still holds it's it's good enough for me so i just keep them kind of tucked 